turning on Glimpse is pretty easy. We're just going to run our application. Then now that this is up, we're just going to go to slash glimpse.axd. And here you can see that it gives us this nice little page that we can configure Glimpse. If we just click this turn Glimpse on, now Glimpse is on. And when we turn Glimpse on, what it does is it basically sets a cookie that's going to tell the server to go ahead and inject the Glimpse data and send that back. And you can also see some of the information about the different tabs that are registered. We'll talk about this more when we see how to add our own tabs and to enable or disable tabs. And you can see some policies, which are another thing that you can extend in Glimpse and which ones are active. Now, if we go ahead and go back to our main page, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, this little Glimpse icon. If I click this, this looks a lot like the Chrome developer tools inside of Chrome. And what this is, is it's just some JavaScript that's rendering this control for us that happens to look like it's really part of the browser. In the next module, we'll cover most of the tabs here, but you can see that there is a tabbed view that has a lot of data. And you'll notice that even some of these things look like the Chrome dev tools, if you're familiar with those. We also have the ability to pop this out if I click that button, then you can see that this is basically in a new window and this gives us a full view of this data. There's also some help information just by clicking that button. So that's it. We're all set up and we have Glimpse in our application. Now we're ready to start learning about Glimpse itself and see how we can use this to figure out what's happening in this very simple default ASP.NET MVC4 application.